masks now. However, because this is a, a long speech, uh, I ask you, uh, and since my surrounding is all well secured by masks, I ask you permission that I remove my mask so that I, I can speak clearly. Because I hear some of the radios in uh, some of the areas may not receive the the sound as well. So just uh, allow me uh, to remove the mask so that I'm able to speak uh, clearly. Why? First of all, we need that cargo for our survival and even for our prosperity. Because we don't only need to survive, we need to be prosperous. We need to survive, but also to be prosperous. In spite of the of this problem. Much of the of the inbound and outbound cargo is ours. When people when people are quarreling, they, they forget this. We are not carrying other people's cargo, it is ours, it is our cargo. Om Sogakova in terms of Jaife. The Mugugu is ours. This is our this is our 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 our, 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 our this is our cargo. It is our coffee going to Mombasa. This is the one going. Seventy five percent of the trucks which come through Uganda are are, are going to for are for Uganda. This is according to Katumba. Seventy-five uh, percent of the cargo uh, is for Uganda. It is only twenty-five percent, which is, which is for the other inland countries, for South Sudan, for Congo, for Rwanda, for Burundi. But seventy-five percent of the cargo is ours. And what is what is what is this cargo comprised of? It's our coffee. It is our tea. From Kanungu, from Fort Pocho, from Zombo, from Mitiana, from Boeru. This is what we are talking about. This is the cargo you are talking about. From Bugambe. In Hoima, this is the tea. It is our cement, our cement to go into uh, to all over these places. It is our mtaimba, steel bars. It is our sugar, sugar ife. Uh, it is our maize. It is our, our milk products going to external markets. All these are going to external markets. It is also our machinery. Because we, we are buying machinery. Like now, these masks which these people are putting you on, they are not being made here. But the, the factories which, which made them, I, I, I am the one who told them, you make the masks. I don't want to Osaka. Of Africa, what about the Oksaka? Oksaka, Oksaka. To, to, to buy, when Oksaka is a burnt word for, when you don't have food in your house, you go to buy from, from others. These masks are now being, are going to be made here. All the PP protection things of, uh, which you, when you see those people putting you know, as if they are going to the moon those doctors when they are treating these cases 
the, all that is going to be made here. By what? By machines imported, machinery. You import the machinery so that you make the things here. Machinery does not come by, by post office box, by, by, by email or anything like that. It comes by, by cargo, by, by these lorries. Or the raw materials, some of the raw materials, like, like plastics. Plastics, we are not yet making plastics. The, the things which we, which Mruana and the others use to make plastics, PVC, it is it is being imported. We shall make it in, once our oil comes, but we are not making it yet. Our defense weapons, Mundozafe. Uh, you cannot tell me that I live um, our guns. Our medical products, Amadagara, Aganawanya Vantuaf. That is the part of the, uh, of course, there is also petrol. Petrol is also part of that. Although for petrol now, we are beginning to use the water. Uh, we're going to use uh, the water to use uh, Chisumu uh, to, to, to pot bear. So it will not be, it will, the ships, the ships are better because you don't have uh, too many people. So those are coming from outside to strengthen us generally and also help us fight this virus better. Therefore, it is a wrong strategy to block cargo and besides it is not necessary. Why? We can, as you have seen, be able to identify the sick from the healthy <laughs> because they come little bakavera. So Umradi Nitumfumbra. The only problem that we are going to eliminate now has been the delay in the testing. The method of allowing drivers to enter and then get the results later will be stopped. After I stopped it the other two days ago. Uh -huh. Oh. The people here are clapping that they are very happy. <laughs> the, the, the small group here. This was, we, we had done this. We had said, okay, you, 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 t you give your sample and drive. When the sample is run and we found where, we, we shall call you from wherever, wherever you are. And of course, we also told them, don't stop anywhere. Talk what I'm in Uganda, talk what I'm We told them, don't interact with anybody. Just drive and stop only to, to, to help yourself and continue. But, but, but you know, some of the people don't listen. So, even that would have worked really, to, to say you drive, only stop in some few places, it, 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 it would have worked, but people don't observe, don't listen. And, and, and this, was, uh, this was in order to minimize costs for the transporters. Because when they, the, the vehicles stay there for a long, I think they, they spend more money at the border. But also to remove the congestion. That was the idea. Of course, these costs in the end are passed on to the public and to, and to the manufacturers. Since, however, the drivers and their employers seem not to be bothered 
with the consent of the public and with, and with our own concerns with the leaders, we shall now not allow any lorry driver to enter Uganda or to leave the border area until the results have been received. There is a quick test known as the gene expert that takes only one hour for 32 tests. However, since we only have limited quantities of the cartridges that are needed for these machines to test for COVID-19, we are concentrating them at Mutukura because there, there is left, less traffic there. Once we get more of these cartridges, cartridges are the, 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 the chemicals you put in. To, you, the machines we have, we have enough machines, but you need some chemicals to put them in uh, to, 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 to do the testing. It is that one that is not enough. These people, they kusakad, kusakad. You know that kusaka. They kusakad fifteen thousand uh, units, but fifteen thousand units uh, on at Maraba they will take only five days. So that's why they put them at Mutukura, where the vehicles are, are less. Once we get more of these cartridges, we can quickly deploy more gene experts to other border points. Malawi already has two gene expert machines deployed but waiting for cartridges in order to start the testing. Once we get more of these, we can quickly test everywhere. The other alternative is His Excellency Kenyatta's plan of joint regional health teams of Uganda, Kenya, Rwanda, South Sudan, Congo, Burundi, testing these drivers at their respective points of origin two times a month so that they do not have to stop at the border. The new policy, this one of not allowing the, dri the drivers to enter, has already seen 14 Tanzanians, 16 Kenyans, one, one Munyarwanda, one Murundi, and three Eritreans uh, drivers being turned back yesterday at the different border points. Border points. However, 21 were Ugandan drivers who were taken to hospital. But if we had added t t these other Africans, the number would have been very big. It would have been almost 60 uh, yesterday. The medium term better solution is to shift most of the cargo from the lorries to the railway, at least within the original East African community countries of Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda. These have railway networks that could be revamped. Congo, South Sudan, Rwanda, and Burundi would have to continue with the lorries for now because there is no railway line uh, linking with them with, with, uh, with, with East Africa. But with better solutions for the, for the tra truck drivers mentioned above. The additional plan for the road is, is to have a convoy system escorted from entry to exit or to termination point if the cargo is destined to Uganda. In the meantime, however, all the drivers would stay at the border until they get their results. So that's the second enemy route. 
The third enemy route are the the porous borders. The porous borders uh, with our neighboring countries where people just walk on foot and come from neighboring countries and enter Uganda. That one, however, is mani mani managed by our RSC system. If they are encouraged and the RDCs keep close in close contact with them, they can block that uh, third route. Because as you hear, the two Barundi, they went through the land border. The students from Tanzania went through the land border. So these cases, you can trace those who, which came in by that, the borders. But the LOCs were able to, to to get hold of them. Our strategy in this war is to avoid the sickness and survive as a country that can still function in normal ways of a semi-modern or even more modern country. It is not to avoid sickness and collapse. We cannot say what for fear I don't know we don't we don't use that slogan. You can say Obaba Mumufe Wafa Natu no ku angula. This is our way of, this is the NRM way. Some, some of us may die, but we must win. Uh -huh. You cannot say, you, you, that all of us die and also fail. That one is. <laughs> It is sacrifice leading to victory. Uh, so in the, in the plan, whatever plan you are doing, you must have the two elements. Sacrifice, but sacrifice leading to victory, not to failure. Uh, and without, without handling the issue of cargo, you will fail. You will fail. And you may avoid death for a short time, then it will come back. Because you will, you will not have the means to continue. That would be suicide. What I, what I was saying, that will be suicide. We have lost $1.6 billion from, from tourism. That money is not going to come. We may lose $1.3 billion from the remittances of the Ugandans living abroad. We cannot lose forex from our coffee also and from our tea and from our maize and from our milk products and from our cement and from our mtayimba our ceramic tiles our soap and cooking oil export etc etc in addition to failing to bring in raw materials machinery medicines etc 
That is simply a wrong debate. The debate should not be on whether the cargo drivers should enter and exit or not. It should be on how these drivers should be handled. That's what we should be. Eh. It is not on the weather, it is on the how. Mm. Apart from identifying the three main enemy entry points, the returnees, the railway drivers, and the porous borders, we are prepared. So in this in this two two months we have identified the, the, the enemy entry points. This is one of the achievements. But apart, apart from that, we are more prepared because we have prepared the treatment centers in the following towns. Naguru, Arua, Gulu, Lira, Soroti, Moroto, Mbare, Jinja, Entebbe, Masaka, Hoima, Mbarara, Kabare, Fort Potro, and Mbende hospitals. Apart from Naguru, Soroti, Moroto, and Mbende, all the other hospitals have so far managed and discharged or are still managing a number of cases. So all these, many of these hospitals are now veterans. Uh, they are now veterans of, of corona. Mm. And sometimes I talk to those young doctors, they are really very proud. Sometimes I, 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 I ring them and talk to them. Very, very proud. And when um, the disease is, is defeated, we shall give them medros. They are really very proud. Mm. Because they are among the best in the whole world. I don't know why you people, you never read the Bible very well. I, I see people carrying Bibles, but I don't know how they read them. Because the Bible says we shall know them by their fruits. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say that we shall know them by how they talk and how they, they dress. It says we shall know them by their fruits. Hmm. His actions. So these Ugandan doctors have, have proven <laughs> by action, not by not by talking, not by boasting, not by mm -mm. Hmm. So, the, many of these hospitals are now veterans. Ate, Basayi Funyo, because they, they, are, they are now confident. Hmm. That is why we have not lost anybody yet. And 63 people have been healed. The total beds in all these hospitals at 3,200, because I had some people who were worried about this, but we have a total of 3,200 beds, and each of the 16 hospitals will soon have a fully equipped ICU ward. ICU is in um, intensive care unit because somebody is bad off the so they put him. Procurement is ongoing 
to equip these hospitals with IC with the uh, intensive care unit. However, currently, on top of Mulago and the women hospital, the other hospitals with IC units are Kabare, Barara, Hoima, Jinja, and the others will get soon. <laughs>